All right, in this lecture, I'm going to teach you how to draw from photographs using a very simple grid system technique that will allow you to transfer an image over onto your paper almost exactly as you see it. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to find a photograph that you want to copy. Once you find that photograph, you're going to go ahead and create a grid system on it like you see here on this parakeet. Now, I created this grid system in Photoshop, but now I'm going to show you how you can do this on your own drawing or picture that you've printed off. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab your image. Then you're going to want to grab a ruler and decide how you want to divide your image up. So in this case, I'm going to divide it up by inches. So I'm going to go ahead and come down to the bottom of my page and it's about 11 inches. And I'm going to go ahead and put a mark every one inch. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the top side. All right, perfect. Then let's go ahead and do the sides. And then we're going to go ahead and connect all these lines to create our grid system. All right, perfect. So now we've created a grid system that's one inch by one inch. The next thing you do is you're going to transfer each one of these squares onto your other paper. So let's go ahead and create a grid system on a blank piece of paper. Now, in this case, we're not gonna be transferring this image. We're gonna be transferring the parakeet image onto our blank piece of paper. So this blank piece of paper is a different size. It is seven inches by 10 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide that up by inches. It's important to make sure that you create your lines very lightly on your blank piece of paper. That way you can always come back and erase it. All right, so now that you have your grid system drawn onto your blank piece of paper, we can begin drawing into each square. So the way this works is you break down each square of your image into a single area that you need to recreate. So let's go ahead and start with an area. So let's start with the eye. So we need to locate where the eye is. It's three down and five in. So let's go ahead and recreate this square right here. So I'll go ahead and find that on my grid system. So three down and five in. So the eye needs to be right there. And what I wanna do is just re-replicate exactly what I see in that square and pay attention to where it's positioned and where the lines are. This makes it very easy to break it down into very small squares and areas because that's a lot easier to recreate than the entire image itself and try to keep everything in the correct proportion and the correct relationship. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in a circle for the main part of the eye. And then I'll go ahead and draw in the shape of the eye. And 
and I'm paying attention to how close the edge of the eye comes to each edge of my box. Then I'm gonna go ahead and draw the under part of the eye or the gray part of the skin. And then I can go ahead and move on to the box next to it. So start drawing that in. And also make sure that you're drawing lightly so you can always come back and erase All right, now let's try moving on to a different square because you don't have to move from square to square next to each other. You can start on whatever square you like. So let's go ahead and move on to the beak square. So the main part of the beak, this one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and find where that one is. So it's two down from the eye. And then we come over one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So we wanna come over to right there. And then we can go ahead and draw that square in. Perfect. So now what you want to do is you just want to go ahead and do this with each and every square. Now this shouldn't take too long. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up and all you're trying to draw are all the contouring lines. You don't want to add in any of the highlights or shadows yet. You just want to draw in those contouring lines so you have a guide to draw on. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, great. So now we've created the contouring line drawing of our parakeet. In the next lecture, we're gonna go ahead and begin to erase these grid lines so they can no longer be seen. And then we're gonna go in there and start adding in our values to make this look like a realistic drawing. Thanks for watching this lecture and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one.